This tutorial will show you how to create an MDF arch by using Rhino and Madcap. So we are going to make some surfaces in Rhino and then we have a, a rail curve of the arch and then we have a cross section showing the profile of the arch. So I made some layers here, first the rail and the cross section. So then we go to the surface tools in, uh, in Rhino and then we use the sweep one rail command. So we select the rail and then we select the cross section. And uh, now I will not uh, use the bottom line of this cross section because I want to create this surface afterwards. So then I just hit enter and the Rhino will create the surfaces. So we click OK and there we have the 3D model of the arch. And the next thing is to uh, create the bottom surface. So what I can do is to first cap uh, the the end the ends of this uh, model. So then I can use uh, surface from planar curves. So I can create click on the profile curve and the bottom curve. Hit enter, and there we have flat surface that will cap the end and um, I can just draw a line to use to get the midpoint and I can select that surface and mirror surface to the other side so now we have both of the cap surfaces and now I can join Join them together. Can delete my line, and uh, now we we have one open bottom surface, and uh, we need to cap the bottom with one surface. So we can use the solid tools, and we can use cap planar holes. Select the model, hit enter, and there we go. There we have. Now we have capped the uh, bottom of this model. So now we have a solid model. It's, it's not necessary to have a solid, but it can be useful to see how it looks correctly. So uh, now, now we have made the model in Rhino, and now we're going to use MadCam to machine this. But um, there is one more thing to do, and that's uh, we, we don't want to machine the entire uh, inside of this arch because we just to want to cut, cut it out from an MDF board. So uh, there is two ways to, to restrict the area, and one is to use region curves, or the other is to define the stock material and I am going to show you how to do to, to define the stock material in in MadCam. So then we have a, a layer, call it stock and uh, I can uh, so I have it in X and Z and then I can go to the curve tools make a rectangle so we can say that that's the material we want to cut we don't want to cut from this top of the MDF and then we want to follow the profile of the, the arch so but we don't want to cut on the outside right now we just want to make a roughing to, to uh, remove 
material. So then we can uh, move this rectangle um, sideways a little bit. So it so it's slightly inside the, outs, the outside the surface. Okay, now we have a, uh, now we have defined the section of the stock model, so we can hide uh, the arch surface, and then we can use the same command: uh, sweep one rail. So we select the rail curve and the cross section curve. And there we have the stock material.